people here, from all parts of the community, from all religious streams. We're here for one reason. We're here to say, bring back our boys. And we're here, Jews and Christians, people of all faiths, sharing one theme tonight. Bring back our boys. And they will come back. I'd now like to introduce Rabbi Coleman Top from Beth Jacob Congregation. Okay, thank you, Jay, and good evening to all of you. It's really inspiring for me to be here together with you as a united community under the leadership of the Jewish Federation, together with the Consul General, to say loudly, as Jay just said, bring back our boys, and to express our solidarity, our complete solidarity with Israel during this difficult hour. We're all deeply concerned, we're here because we're deeply concerned, anxious, holding our breath regarding the welfare of Gilad, Naftali, and Ayal, and we don't even want to think about what they might be going through. We're very grateful for the presence of the elected officials and leaders of different faith communities who are here because they feel human compassion and have the wisdom to stand strong with the Jewish people and Israel as she fights on the front lines against the forces of terror, of evil, and violence. Any person who is blessed with children knows the feeling of waiting for children to come home from school. You anticipate seeing them, giving them a hug, asking them how their day was, setting them up for their homework. Gilad, Naftali, and Ayal are three innocent boys who are simply coming back home from school. The boys were looking forward to celebrating Shabbat, singing songs at the Shabbat table, playing games perhaps with their siblings, and hanging out like teenagers do. Shabbat is not only a day of rest, but it's also a day that symbolizes peace and tranquility for the Jewish people and all of humanity. And the boys were on their way back from school looking forward to that Shabbat of peace and tranquility, and their parents are still waiting. Their parents and aunts and Lehi and other aunts and uncles and extended relatives are still waiting, the parents and all relatives are waiting for them to come home. And the message I want to send to the parents and to the relatives is that we are all here waiting together with you. We are hoping and praying together with you. You are not alone. And we're all hoping and praying together with you that the boys, the young men are brought home quickly and safely to their homes. Looking out at this gathering, the notion of Kol Yisrael Ravim Zebazeh, that all Jews are connected to one another, is really ringing loud and clear. You are being here tonight. Our prayers over the course of the week demonstrate that we're all indeed connected to one another. The Jewish people is one collective body. And if any part of the global Jewish body is touched or harmed, all Jews around the globe are affected. And therefore, the parents are not the only ones waiting for the boys to come home. We all are. Looking out at this gathering, I also see leaders and members of other faith communities standing with us and waiting together with us too. This is reassuring, inspiring, and should give us all a sense of strength. And we invite all people with good hearts and a conscience to join us around the world as we wait for our boys to come home. As Jews, as Americans, as human beings, we're all part of the family. Our tradition teaches us that all who pray for Jerusalem during its difficult times will merit to rejoice at its celebratory time of, re of rebuilding. May we as well, who are praying and caring and worrying, merit to rejoice when we hear the good news. 
May God hear our prayers. May God assist the IDF and Israel's security forces to accomplish the great mitzvah of Pidyon Shfuyin of redeeming captives and accomplish their mission to bring our boys back home safely. And may we all merit to then rejoice at the time of the reunion of the boys with their families at the Shabbat table with peace and tranquility. We look forward to the boys spending this Shabbat or Shabbat very, very soon again with their families at that special time in our hearts and in our minds. We will all be together at the Shabbat table, together with the families, singing, dancing, and rejoicing. May God give us strength and grant us ultimately all peace. It's time like this.